Namaste. So last time I gave everybody the ultimatum. <laughs> if you want to be a part of this community, you have to engage and you have to engage in a way that's positive and leads us toward our goal to complete our mission. And what is that? Self-realization. In other words, these videos, these and the comments especially, are not simply a, an open forum for expressing your opinion about whatever. Huh? No. This channel is a part of something greater. It's a part of a community, and a community with a mission, a purpose, an aim. And that aim is enlightenment. That purpose is self-realization. So if you contribute to that purpose, you're welcome. And we'll bend over backwards and do anything to, to keep you engaged in this community. Why is that? Because the quality of the context the communication determines the quality of the community. Now, you're all on the internet, obviously. I've been on the internet since like 1989. In the beginning, there was a very high quality of discourse on the internet. It was mostly very smart people, early adopters, People who are into technology, science, highly educated. People with uh, great knowledge to share. Then slowly, slowly, the, the sociopaths started coming in and filling up the online forums. In the beginning, Usenet, and then gradually uh, what we call now social media and so on, with junk. Just plain crap. And the reason that happens is because there is no gatekeeper. There is no friction. Any idiot can log on and say whatever they want, and so they do. See, the nature of this world, in case you hadn't noticed or in case you're fooling yourself, is that if you give people the means to cheat, they will. Not all the people, but a certain class of people, people with no integrity, putujanas, as the Buddha would say. But the sapurisas, the people with integrity, they need a place to go that is sheltered from the putujanas, that is sheltered from the sociopaths and the people with no integrity. That's what this community is for. It's not for idiots. It's not for people who just want to hang out. And it's certainly not for people who want to advance their own opinions. Even I don't give my own opinions here. Believe me, I have plenty of them too. <laughs> But I don't talk about them because, really, it's not germane to the purpose of this community. Now, what is a community? Really, a community is a many, many instances of communication. So, communication has to serve some purpose. 
It always serves some purpose. Otherwise, why go to the effort of opening your mouth or typing a comment or whatever? Why bother? Because you have some purpose, you have some aim. So here, our purpose is self-realization. So communication in this community should be all about self-realization, how to attain it, what it means, what its benefits are, and so on and so forth. Anything that deviates from that aim is bad communication as far as we are concerned. So how do you get rid of bad communication? You increase the friction. You put in a gatekeeper, a moderator, somebody to kick out the bad communication and facilitate the good communication that leads toward the goal. So, you know, it's nice and idealistic to have no boundaries, to have no gateways, to just allow anybody to come in and say whatever they want to say. But in practice, it doesn't work. Huh? There's a law, I forget who's, whose law it is, is called, that every online community, when every discussion on an online community devolves towards people being compared to Hitler. Isn't it? Now people are being compared to Hitler for demanding that others wear masks. <laughs> Here we are in the middle of a pandemic and people are bitching about being told to wear a mask. Look, back in the Spanish flu epidemic of 1918, you could be shot on sight if you're out in public without a mask, and many people were. So... You guys have it easy, you Karens huh? and you Chads. <laughs> but, you know, don't come around here like that. You won't get past the gate. I'm doing it, I'm being the gatekeeper because there's nobody else to do it. Really, it's not my role, you know? I should be the ever blissful Satguru. But I can't be because some idiot would come in and piss all over the comments or the forums or whatever we're doing. It happened last time we had courses. We got, because it was all free, we got a whole class of people who did no coursework, who lurked on the forum, or who posted irrelevant comments about their own opinions about stuff. I got sick of it, and that's why I shut the whole thing down. And then there were the people who offered to help and <laughs> made promises that, oh, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. And then they did maybe some tiny fraction of it. But most of what they promised to do didn't happen. So this is the problem. If there is a way for people to cheat, they will. So there has to be a strong gatekeeper. There has to be some friction to discourage people who just come to mouth off and give their stupid opinions. It's not free. It can't be free. And the reason it can't be free is because people will cheat. They'll take advantage. They'll exploit. Sociopaths will come and start their nonsense. So it can't be free anymore. It has to be by, you have to pass a gatekeeper. And for now, that gatekeeper is me. I hope to find somebody else to do this so that I can do something more that befits my status, you know, my real state here. But for now, it's me. So you have to get past me if you want to be in this community, if you want to be engaged, if you want to be involved, if you want to get the benefits. Now, words are not just sounds. Words have meaning. They are symbols. They convey all kinds of things. 
besides just the, the literal meaning. Huh? Like the difference between telling someone, come here, and saying, come here. You see? These words convey a lot more than just, you know, move your body to this location. <laughs> so, words and the way they are used have a great deal to do with meaning. And not just literal meaning, but emotional meaning, psychological meaning, and spiritual meaning. The way words are used creates context, and context determines meaning. Like just now, there's a big disaster in San Diego where a Navy ship caught fire, an amphibious landing craft, a big one. It caught fire. Why did it catch fire? Because, well, the, the actual literal or immediate cause was some garbage spontaneously combusted for, because they were under uh, repairs and refitting. But the real cause, the antecedent cause, was that morale was low. Why was morale low? Because when you're in port, their discipline is lax. There are a lot of civilians around. Huh? People who aren't part of the military, who don't observe the norms of the military. And this drags down morale. This drags down discipline. And so things can happen, like a fire or accidents. This is well known to people with any military or uh, nautical background. So the same thing can happen in an online community. And it happens all the time. That some rascals will come in and start putting up bad communication and the morale goes down people start leaving the community, and so on. That is not going to happen here. And this is the reason why the first course that we're offering is matrix learning. Because matrix learning is about the actual meaning of words. Now, what is a meaning? Well, a meaning is a definition, as far as text on a page. Huh? We're not talking about the emotional meaning or anything like that, but just the text on the page has a specific meaning. And what is that meaning? It's the definition of the words that corresponds to the context in which it is found. Most people cannot recite the definition of a word, especially small relationship words like up, down, with, for, through, of, the. Huh? Simple words and grammatical words like that, such, with, and so on. And the reason they can't recite the definitions is because they don't know them. They've never bothered to look the word up in the dictionary. So if you don't know the definition, you don't know the meaning. You're just guessing. And yeah, context can provide clues, but that's not precise enough. And what happens is that people develop emotional charge on misunderstood terms, undefined words. And usually they're the small words. The big words, the technical terms, you know you don't understand. But you have to look those up, too, to get the exact definition. Otherwise, you have no idea what the meaning is, what we're talking about, or what other people are talking about, or even what you're talking about. You're just throwing words, hoping they'll stick, you know? So I have to tell you, when I did this course, the course that Matrix Learning is based on, I did years ago. It's a course that's normally, or used to be, offered to Harvard freshmen when they first come in the school. And so, you know, the elite colleges are different because rich people's kids go there. So they actually want them to learn something. So they give them courses on how to study. 
They don't do that in ordinary colleges, what to speak of high schools or elementary school. So most of our education is completely a waste of time because it all involves words that are undefined and undefinable in the context of schooling. There's no time to open up the dictionary and look it up. And nobody's going to tell you to do it. And if you did it, it would be like a disturbance in the class, right? So because you're disturbing, you're holding back the herd. <laughs> but when you're learning individually, the key to applying all knowledge is to know the definitions of the terms. At least that's the beginning of it. It goes on from there. But without that duplication of meaning, to understand is impossible. So we're giving this course as the gateway to our community. And those who want to be a part of this community, which will be like an international online learning community with the goal of attaining self-realization. We have over 70 courses already waiting. You can go on our site and take a look at them. Here's the link. But unless you learn this, you can even you can go through the courses and you can learn the way you were taught to learn in school and you wouldn't learn anything. You wouldn't be able to apply it. So rather than have that happen, we're making a gateway. If you want access to me, if you want access to our community, you have to learn how to define your terms, how to speak intelligently and productively and create a communication context that gives us the highest quality of spiritual community because that is one of the most important things. Sangha, there are three prayers, homage to the Buddha, homage to the Dhamma, and homage to the Sangha. Without the Sangha, this is one of the three legs of the Dharma. So without the Sangha, you can't make it. You need that association. You need that community. You need that strength behind you. So we're going to build a community like that. I've looked at my astrology and I have everything I need to do that. So this is what we're going to do. So you should take this course. Here's the link to the site. You can send me an email and you can enroll in the course. And I'm going to, tomorrow I'm going to post a detailed video about the course. So you'll have everything you need to know. So this is what we're doing. This is our work. This is what we've been working toward all these years to help people attain the complete enlightenment by transcendental education. Aum Tatsat. Aum Shakti Aum.